This episode is powered by the Avonia Tavern. To get monthly features and promotions, like the Avonia Tavern on Facebook. My name is Nikki. My name is Brooke Beebe. My name is John Beebe. My name is Riley Beebe. And you're watching Eerie Extreme. Ow. Oh. Yummy. We're ready. So, starting today with a few less hairs on my leg. When I think of any type of panfish, I think of Darl. So, he's usually on him. He knows where the bluegills are, the crappies, the, uh, the pumpkin seeds. Dave calls. He wants to catch big pumpkin seeds. No problem. I said, come on down to Conneaut Lake. How long you know Darl? I think he changed my diaper once. Was it a stinker? So it had been at least 14. <laughs> you were supposed to clean my windshield off. Yeah. Look it right on there. Calling the mobile number for Doll Black. Hello. We're here. Yeah. We just pulled in. Where are you at? So Daryl walks up. Oh, I'm a flake. I'll be down in a minute, then. He looks like a ninja. <laughs> I don't know if it's him or not. You met Terry before? I'm not sure. I think so. Maybe once. Terry so Daryl. You look familiar, but I've probably seen him on the show. No pressure. You know how it works, right? Yep. I would like to catch 50 or 100 pumpkin seeds, but like I said, no no pressure. Just don't think about it. If, if we happen to catch 100 or 200 or 300 or whatever, that'd be awesome, but it doesn't really matter. Boy, it's clear. What? Doesn't that scare you? What? Clearness. No. You like it? Yeah. Like Connie of old. I don't really like clear water, but I did like the Connie out of old. We're gonna mosey because we're, we're not gonna run. We're gonna mosey in, in this boat. We're gonna go, we'll hit the, the the weed line. There was a there's a point up there. I, I don't know. I think pumpkin seeds tend to eat more snails, moths, crayfish, harder and bluegill. Stuff. Yeah, and I think they really like that hard bottom. How many people target pumpkin seeds? I think this is weird. <laughs> I mean, we're going pumpkin seed fishing. <laughs> Who does? Which fight harder, bluegills or pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds, for Everybody sure. Everybody agreed, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, that, that's a fact. So you can imagine when you get a, a big pumpkin seed. You might earn a new nickname, Dr. Pumpkin Seed. <laughs> but like I said, no pressure. Just a hundred, maybe. That, that, that's good because the, the, the weed harvester is gonna ruin our weed point down here. <laughs> so what are you doing? Up here and we'll just back troll work back into the weed line here. There we go, starting to drop off there now. Maybe you'll have the magic bait on today. Okay, I like this. You know, the last couple times out, we've only caught one or two out here. So. Should I have something heavier on? Are we gonna be moving fast? Um, no, we're gonna be moving slow here when I get the things set here. If you go to the Connie Lake Museum down here, I don't know if you've been in there yet or not, they show you the stuff they brought, all the mastodon bones, the woolly mammoth bones. I, I'm one of the only people, I mean, I know in Pennsylvania, but I don't know about the rest of the world or country that actually had barbecued mastodon. <laughs> you went I've eaten it. I've eaten mastodon. Have you? No. Where'd you eat mastodon at? Oh, I forget where it was. Y'all in, Dave? Yeah, we're uh, ready to roll. I'm glad we came. I don't care if we catch anything. Well, that's good. Hmm. Might be tougher than I thought. Spot number one, no bites. Of course I was kidding. Every time I take you fishing, we catch a hundred. Every time you take me fishing, we catch a hundred? Every what? single time. <laughs> Keep count. Okay, here's what we got so far. That's fixing to change real fast. Right, Darrell? It's getting kind of rough out here. I think we should quit. Yeah. Are we still pumpkin seed fishing? We're pumpkin seed fishing. To be clear, Darrell's pumpkin seed fishing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got one. Somebody's got one, it ain't me. So I let Darl get two up on me, but I'd be number two. Look out, DB. I'm coming for you. Okay, my got first one. fish, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Is that my thing? Hello? Not a pumpkin seed, yeah. but a big bluegill. Okay, we're in the middle of filming. Okay. Hi, Marilyn. Dave says hi. All right, anything else? Okay, thank you. My <laughs> Marilyn, she ruined my biggest bluegill of my life. The biggest one I've ever caught. I've been waiting my entire 27 years for this fish since I was born 27 years ago. And then Marilyn calls right when I'm catching it. <laughs> I can keep that one, right? Are we keeping some? If you want to. Where at? There's the live well right there. 
This isn't quite as bad as pine tuming if you throw out a marker here. People, people don't know what it is till they don't come piling around you. Throw out a marker and pine tuming and you nice get one. swamped. Oh, this is a better one. Oh no, it's even smaller, but it fought hard. Still looking for my first boat on purpose pumpkin seed. I'll tell you what, I don't want to do this too many days in a row. It's way too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, Dave. I mean, they were biting until you came. That's what everybody always they used says. To, they used to blame me for shutting down the fish when I had my camera in the boat. I know, we totally switched roles. <laughs> and that's no joke. Darl plus camera equals bad luck. There's one. I like this little rod. These are the first fish I've caught on these mm. rods. Little guy. Dude, what is that? That ain't nothing normal. Well, it's bigger than I thought it was. Oh, that's a nice, pretty one. Dang, that rod really bends. We're gonna catch 200. You're gonna catch 200. You're only allowed 50. No, we're both allowed 50. Yeah. That's 100. Right? 50 plus 50. I wasn't really good at math, but I'm pretty, pretty dang sure 50 plus 50 is 100. <laughs> right? Should we call Marilyn back? No. <clears throat> There's one. I'll, I'll just tell her you made me not call her back oh. till you caught 100. Come on, be a pumpkin seed. Nope, bluegill. We're starting to jack them now, but still, no pumpkin seeds. Number five and number six, just like that. We're catching a lot of bluegills, but we still need that first pumpkin seed. There's one. Oh, I lost it. See over at Pima Tuming, they've, um, they're putting in a wash station at, at the ramps. Wash? At the washer boat. How do you say it? Hmm? I thought it was wash. Wash. Darl, you're making me lazy. How come you didn't take your kayak to the last uh, BAS tournament? I probably would have done better. Uh, thanks for reminding me. I kind of blocked that whole <laughs> fiasco out. That's why I don't care if I catch anything right now. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm just so happy to like not be working. Season two of Erie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, we create the Avonia Tavern, fishingonline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. Every day, Fast Signs helps businesses with their visual communications. We ask the right questions, recommend smart solutions, and help you build your business. We're innovators, planners, and designers, and we're more than ready to help. To request a consultation, visit FastSigns.com. Thinking of building a new website for your business-to-business -business or manufacturing company? WeCreate will make sure it takes your business to the next level. Our team knows how to get your site seen by valuable traffic and designs websites that turn them into customers. We have the experience to show you real results. Our secret? We understand search engines and communicate your credibility and value through captivating design. Trust we create with your next website. Visit wecreate.com. This episode is powered by the Avonia Tavern, home of the Erie Extreme favorite, Avonia Bourbon Smasher. I'm glad you have chairs. Yeah. I can count the times I sat in a chair in a boat and fished on one hand. There's one. Look at I'm catching a fish sitting down. Look at me. Uh-oh. Got some bend to it. Yep, catching fish sitting down. How many is that? Eight? Oh, count them. The Rapala counter. Number eight. How's the guide business going? Not as well as I'd hoped. Let's try Summer that again. Is, is Let's dead. try that again. Hmm? Let's try that again. What's that? How's the guide service going? My guide service? No, Terry's guide service. Not as well as I'd like. Come on. Oh, Summer, I'm, I'm You want to say that on TV? Well, I can't, I can't. Lie? <laughs> well, you want me to lie? I can't keep up with it in, in May and June. Now it's picking up, I got bookings for uh, September and October, but August is just very, So very it's spring slow. and fall, mostly. Yep. Most people don't want to go out in the summer. Pretty much. Do they know they can sit like this and catch them like this? <laughs> Those that come out do. You charging me for this? On another topic, I need to get tips for the fishing report from you. How often does the fishing report go out? Is it twice a, a month? How many people read it? A godzillion. I can't count them all. Really? I figured I would uh, film him catching one because he, he has never caught a fish in his life. He reels like this. <laughs> <laughs>
We're, we're not leaving, are we? I'll give you 30 seconds to catch a fish, and if you don't, we're finally leave. right at the good spot. Mm. And are you catching them? Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, just leave me alone. I don't know whether I like the legs up or legs down. What a fun day. Legs up, legs down, don't matter. It's all working. Now is the time to go out bluegill fishing in Connie. I think people are afraid to come on the Connie. Look, look at, <laughs> look at Connie today. Look. Well, dude, you every first Somebody time here. I get in your boat, all you talk about is mastodons. Look at that. Today. <laughs> That's a big one. You got to not scare your clients, you know? And try bringing up the mastodons a little bit <laughs> later in the day. Do you ever think of that? Hey, they're long dead. All we got is the bones. Why are you casting way over there and you got me fishing straight down? Yeah, That's a guide trip. Like oh, yeah. Double digits. That's number 10 right there. There we go. <laughs> Seems like every time the, we try the to. The odds are that one of these should be a pumpkin seed. <laughs> Come on, pumpkin seed. Oh! Yeah! A pumpkin seed! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see it? You didn't even see it. No. But it was time. <laughs> One in 10 are pumpkin seeds. There you go, right there. They're just an awesome looking fish. There's a lot of pressure to catch a big pumpkin seed, and we did it. Nothing better than catching what you're fishing for. They get a lot bigger. That's, they get bigger. Marilyn got one a nine and a half, and I've had a nine. Wow, I got the smallest fish in the lake right here. <laughs> Look at that. Dave, you ought to invent these and have a motor and a push button so they just automatically want to rewind it. You're going to ruin me today. <laughs> Sitting down, feet up, motorized marker buoys. This is, this is what you do when you get old. Write all that stuff down because I'm about a year behind you. So what are we doing now? We're going to run over here and look at another pumpkin seed spot. And... How many did we catch so far? Twelve. Darrell, we're going to catch them here. Those fish down there? Or is that that one? Oh, this might be a pumpkin seed. Look at him bending that rod. Need the net or the gaff? No, I'm just going to swing them in here. Nope, it's a bluegill. <laughs> They're fat. They're pretty fat here. Must be feeding off the mastodons. Oh, I saw that one bite it. Oh, I missed it again. I'm sitting wrong. We never did a bluegill show either, did we? Here we go. Ooh, these rods throw me off. It just looks like a big fish. That is a better one, huh? Ow. <laughs> it's your funny bump. <laughs> yeah. I need some one. water in there. You got one? No, it's full of water. See, I'm using a smaller, I got to get a bigger bait on. Yeah. He's letting me figure it out on my own instead of helping me. I offered you the bigger ones and you said, got something smaller? Yeah, I got something smaller. <laughs> 15. Try that one. Oh, yeah. At least now I know I got the right bait on. Something that works real good and they quit making them. <laughs> I got one. Nose hooked. And it is a bigger one. Yeah. Thick <laughs> one. Look at that. That's a pig. Damn, I need to be getting some pictures there, too. Look at that. Another stud muffin. They're thick, too. There's a lot of meat on those. Things. That one hit it on the way down. Look at this one. Yeah. We are on them now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin seed. There it is. Oh, that's a big one. And that's the kind we're looking for. Oh, I just missed one. Dude. Look. Look. At that, that is that a thick guy. Look one. at that. Yeah, that's a giant one. Monster. Turn your motor off. Oh, man. He's in my mind. skipping across the surface back. See how he takes me off the fish. <laughs> well, I bet we'll go right back to him in a minute. I learned that trick from Dave. Dude. That's a there's big, a, see, that is a big, big fish. Right here's there. a ruler here if you want to see. How, how big do you think is. he is? I'd say he's uh, eight and three quarters. Every bit of nine inch uh, pumpkin seed. Super thick, look how big he is, giant. I thought you weren't working today. I'm taking you fishing, I'm working, aren't I? I'm gonna let you in on a little pro photo trick. Back off a little bit, oh, back, off. back off, back off. <laughs> <laughs> big one. Never works that good. Terry, up here, bud. Look at that, bud. I was hoping we'd get to see one of those big pumpkin seeds today. There's one. Now I want another one. Oh, that's oh, I missed mine. You had a weed. Oh, another pumpkin seed. Look at how how hard they pull. Yeah, that's there my drag. Missed the pumpkin seed too. Hi, I'm John Arway, executive director of the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. First, if you're already a Pennsylvania angler or boater. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your purchase of your fishing license or boat registration. Since the sale of our first fishing license in 1919, 
The Commission has used the funding provided by the sales of licenses toward our stewardship of the Commonwealth's fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Come on and join in the fun of fishing and boating in Pennsylvania. I'm Macy and this week's tip is about boating safety. Being out on a boat is a lot of fun. But too many people drowned each year because they were not wearing their life jackets. Please make sure you have enough life jackets to cover every person on your boat. Encourage everyone to wear one while they are on the water. Good idea! Three, go! Some of their new life jacket styles are actually pretty comfortable and even look quite stylish. Make sure to zip your life jacket all the way up and buckle it if it has buckles. Make sure it's snug and the right size for your body weight. Stay safe this boating season. Think of it this way. If you're not a fish, then wear your life jacket. I'm Macy from Extreme Kid Tips, and I'm reminding you to wear it. That was this week's tip sponsored by the Pennsylvania Fishing Boat Commission. Be assured, you're secure at Marquette with debit cards, online banking, online purchases, and your identity. Be empowered at MarquetteSecure.com. I'm Lauren. And I'm Allie. <laughs> and you're watching the Extreme. <laughs> Are we rolling? How do we look? What's I bet happening? I look really bad. They don't know what's happening yet. I got two directors. One of them's deaf and the other one's blind <laughs> and deaf. <laughs> is it focused, Bree? Is this is fake. No, it's not fake. Do you have any idea who I am? No. Steve. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let's let's find somebody else. I don't know who you are either. <laughs> <laughs> we are filming a segment for the smash hit TV show called Eerie Extreme. Ever hear of it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You think that's funny? Yeah. I'm just <laughs> okay, so Eerie Extreme is a fishing show. What? You're on a fishing show. Hey, tell him his car's too noisy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Your car's too noisy. Take that orange stuffy animal with you. Do pumpkin seeds eat midges? Eat what? Midges. Midgets? <laughs> midges. 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 I don't know what that is. You don't know midges? No. Really? I don't know either. What's a midge? It's a bug. It's a bug. No. Okay, where were we? No. Are you kidding me? No, it's not. That's way too loud. <laughs> I'm tackling the next one that comes through. <laughs> See that word right there? No. <laughs> What's that? Breakfast. Gobbles. Leave. Point. Lymphomus. That's a P, not a B. Lymphomus. Gibbosis. Gibbalos. I don't know. Lymphomus gibbosis. Le point gibbalos. It's Italian for nail. This episode is powered by the Avonia Tavern. Enjoy seasonal bottled beers, monthly signature drinks, and 11 drafts on tap. Oh, another pumpkin seed. Look at how, how hard they pull. Yeah, That's there my go. drag. This is the pumpkin seed, too. Look at this. These are the pumpkin seeds. And this is what it's like when you're really on them. Catch them left and right and doubles, oh, too. Oh, yeah, two pumpkin seeds. Oh, no. Almost... <laughs> Tangled up. <laughs> yeah. And this is another hog. On a lake that produces big fish like this one, you don't want to be keeping all your big fish. You want to keep those big fish genetics. Keep those mid-size to, to large size, but leave. it's just like trophies. Put the trophies back, you know? Big 2-0. And we've only been fishing for less than an hour. Like, start it from the beginning. OK. Whenever you're ready. All right. <laughs> I, oh, oh. You go ahead and talk <laughs> okay. while I fish. Um, Pymatuming, Conniot, and I'll do Wilhelm. Uh, hold, please. Ooh. Hold, please. Pumpkin seed. Baby. <laughs> Only because I caught it. <laughs> Pumpkin seed. Hey, the last four or five have all been the right kind. Your, your guide service name, what's it called? Fishing with Daryl Black. Oh, that's a creative, oh. that's pretty creative. How, how'd you come up with that? <laughs> because <laughs> it just seemed natural. You think there's more mastodon bones in this lake that they haven't found? Probably. How can that be? It's so small. Because this lake was here when the, when the woolly mammoths and mastodons were, were roaming the earth, you know? 
and this glacial form. So this is as old as time itself. Oh man, I gotta find my boat chair. I don't even know where it's at. What? My boat chair. Oh, your boat I'm chair. I have to find it. <laughs> I think I'm a changed man. There's one. Look at that. That's the hardest fight in one so far. Now, do you think this will be bigger or smaller? <laughs> I mean, by far the hardest fighting one of the day. I can't even do nothing with them. Oh, it's a big bluegill. This is a monster. Get in the boat. <laughs> that is a big bluegill. I mean, that is a big one no matter where you go. Uncle Dial, may I have another lobster, please? Uncle Dara, I need another bait for my jig head. Excuse me. Yes, Sonny. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Are you good enough to get the, even I carry can to teach catch anybody one? to catch a fish? One more fish. I'm gonna catch this pro style, standing up, feeling it. Oh, I missed him. There's one. better sit back down, huh? They're intimidated. It's like they know. How? Do you think they're intimidated? What do you think the world record is? Four pounds? I don't think so. Before I, before we look, what do you think it's gonna be? I'll guess two pounds, two ounces. I'm gonna go three. Okay, let's go. We got states. There's no st Pennsylvania state record. Pumpkin state. Why? Ask the Fish Commission. They don't list it. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I know a guy. Oh, I do know a guy. We're going to have to change that. Well, then I got it. Today. <laughs> New York, it's one pound, nine ounces. I'm calling Masharka. I got one. Dang it. Oh, you are calling him. <laughs> Hello. Is this the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission? Yeah. Hey, answering your every question, what's up? I got I got a good one for you this time. I'm out here pumpkin seed fishing. Are yeah. you familiar with the species? Yeah. I borderline harass Ed, but as long as he keeps answering the phone. Where are we going, Captain Pumpkin Seed? Captain Pumpkin Seed? Going down to the point. Hmm, kind of like that. Going to the point. So I get the camera. It's Uncle Skippy's turn. This ought to be good. You think Which you can handle him? He reels like a like a small child. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> he reels like the president. We're just gonna let not talk. I'm not gonna let Darl do his. You're really not gonna talk? I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing that I try to tell novices or even guys that have been fishing for a long while, stop the line at the end of the cast with your finger, close the bale by hand. Okay, you can just drop that straight down. You wanna keep the line tight. And you can have it up just off the bottom a little bit. That's where she is. Let me get in Dave's position because this is kind of comfortable. That's right. You put your feet up, you sit back in the chair, and you just take it easy. I know. Hello? I'm ready to leave East Brady. Okay. And head home. All right. Okay. okay. Hi, Marilyn. Where are you? We're taping. You're going, you're oh, on you're tape right now. Yes. Ruining the best shot of the decade. Dave says hi. Oh, darn, oh, darn, oh, darn. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. Oh, got him. Got, got him. him. Okay. Got one. Got one. Don't reel anymore. Bring, yeah, just swing the board oh. here. Oh. Wow. Your first fish ever. <laughs> How does it make you feel? The first fish you ever caught? No. Oh. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> I know better after three years. Yeah, no kidding. You know, it felt like my first fish ever because I really don't get to fish that often. I think this is the third time since we've been filming this show that I was allowed to attempt to fish. If you can get him to catch one, you can get any. I mean, that well, is how good fishing with Darrell Black is. Now this is probably a fish down here, right here, see? Like okay, I just two dropped right on top of yeah, them. Yeah, we're so right, we're, there's several of them right there, yeah. Got him? Live, little guy, little guy. Eh, not as little as Dave, so. Dave's still got the record. I got the record for the smallest and the biggest. Uh-oh, look like old Skippy hooked up again. Hey, 28 big blue foot, hill. 28 foot of water. 28 foot. Are you, I'm not kidding. Nice. <laughs> I don't want to get sliced. Was it the bottom that sliced? No. No, the top. Slice? I was going to, hold on. Yeah. Don't be scared, kids. Hey. Bluegills don't slice people. I don't want to hurt them. Here, you get the hook at them. What is going on? Treat them like a small child, darling. Sorry to interrupt your uh, your filming with the biggest fish of the day. 
wasn't the biggest fish of the day. I don't know. What do you think, doll? I thought it was the biggest fish of the day. See? Uh, the, the biggest, biggest bluegill blue one, though. Yeah. Biggest it's bluegill. Packing it up. All right. He says, this is going to be real. It either happens or it doesn't happen, but we'll tape it. Hey, that's what we do. And it happened to work out this time. Heading home. Awesome day. Great day. I want to thank you for this sure, day. It was you. great. Great afternoon. Uh, learned a lot. And, uh, had fun. Caught the biggest fish of the day. Caught the biggest fish of the day. Dave doesn't believe it yet, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we figured it out. Mine was bigger. We ended our three hour trip with almost 60 fish. It was an awesome day on Conneaut Lake. Perfect weather, perfect fishing conditions, perfect catches. I'd say Darrell proved that summertime is a great time to fish Conneaut Lake. See you next week. What happens when Bassmaster Pro Dave LaFebra loses his favorite Rapala lure? <sighs> Uh-oh, this just in. Looks like Dave lost his favorite lure again. I'm on it. Here we go again. Are these his? You want your gear fast? Go to fishingonline.com. Okay, it's summertime on Conneaut Lake, my favorite season to catch big pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, in my opinion, are more fun to catch than bluegills. They fight harder, put a bend in that rod, and they'll even pull drag out on you. Big pumpkin seeds are out deep on hard bottom, rocky areas. They're feeding on stuff that's living in the bottom. Our primary depth that we were targeting today for, was from 17 to 20 I foot. One. I got one. You got a good I got a good one. <laughs> are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. I was watching the <laughs> We were marking the fish on the screen and fishing vertically right beside the boat. We were using soft plastic baits about one inch on both the lead heads and on the drop shot. The color really didn't matter. You just experiment to find the color that's going to work best. The rod and reel for this technique, something that's about seven foot long is, is a good length. Light action, four pound test on a, on a spinning reel is great for dropping lead heads. On the drop shot rig, it's a braided line of eight pound test to a six pound monofilament leader. Pumpkin seeds have very small mouths, requires a small hook, never larger than a six, preferably an eight or even a ten, and some people go smaller than that. We drop it straight down, let the sinker hit the bottom, and then just raise it up a little bit. On a drop shot rig, you never want to overwork the bait. Holding it steady is fine, or simply just a little lift and a drop. You don't really want the sinker dragging on the bottom. That's there to keep the line very taut, and it's easy to tell when you get a bite. When you're casting, let the bait sink to the bottom and retrieve it very slowly and steadily. When you're fishing for pumpkin seeds and other panfish, you're going to catch a lot of fish, but you don't don't want to keep all big ones. Keep a lot of the medium sized ones to eat, put the big ones back. They've got the genes to make more big fish. I'm Darrell Black and that was this week's FishingOnline.com in-depth look. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.